Nobody's invincible. Everybody has their peaks and they have their valleys. I would use, for an example, say Pharrell. During the dance and EDM craze that happened in America maybe like three years ago, like EDM was crazy. Nobody was doing anything less than 128 BPM. So like, you don't, we don't want to hear hip hop no more. So like for certain producers who don't produce like that, it was a hard time. And I would just say Pharrell, for example, every, I would say, four years, five years, you have a good high valley. And then music and some things, some trends changed, and then you go down because you have to learn a new trend. And I think for him, and even Timberland, they always stay consistent through all the trends that go. I commend them for that because they never not be themselves. Even though their record sales, or they might not be on a lot of albums, but they never change who they are, their music, and they, they've been very successful at that, at that. I think a lot of times everyone goes through their peaks and valleys, you know, personal things or even career-wise. I think the most important thing is just you have to know how to really like brand yourself. Uh, you have to be able to study because technology changes so fast, it makes music change. And because music change, we have to change as producers because the clientele changes. So we have to cater to what's being bought. It's a supply and demand kind of industry. One of the low values that I had as a producer, I would say not believing in yourself to a certain point to where you think that you're not good enough. And I'm just being real, everybody go through that. You know, you're making beats, you're writing songs, you're doing so many things, but man, why these songs ain't moving? Like, why they ain't making no records? Like, why am I not getting income from these songs? I'm putting in my time, blah, 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 blah. And after a while, that kind of, that kind of eats away at you. But during those times, you have to stay confident in yourself and don't lose focus. Because I'll tell you this, most of the songs that I get placed on records, I've done them at least two years before they make an album. So one example, I did a song for Fergie on her record, The Duchess, called The Makeup Song. That song released on her album, I think maybe like 2005, 2006, somewhere around there, The Duchess. I made that beat in 1998. The first time I came to LA, I stayed at the Oakwood Apartments and I, I made that song in 1998. I sold that beat and made a song and it was on a record in 2007. You have to believe that you, you do good work and that good work never dies. And you have to stay confident even when you think nothing's happening, something's always happening. And those times is where you find out who you are. You gotta learn how to trust yourself. And like you said, sometimes when you get to that point to where you don't know when to turn, that's when stuff moves because you can't depend on your own power to make something happen. It has to be another power, a higher power, that makes you say, oh, okay, I'm tripping. I know you got me, so I ain't even got a trip. So I think for most people, I always use the three Ps, which is prayer, practice and patience. I think if you practice those things, it will definitely help help your journey to become successful and um, being patient in this in this long career. Imagine, you know, you come into your door, somebody's ringing your bell and you open it and it's Jam Master Jay. For one split second, all I thought about was what are we gonna eat for lunch? What does Michael Jackson eat? These white boys from that get bust in from Stillmore or wherever, they don't no, all they know is what they see on TV and what they've heard. So when they hop out the car, they're scared than a motherfucker anyway. I just want to continue to make music. Man, no one's ever going to get that. The whole thing for me is just continue to make music. Get up, shake it off, and just make music about it. And break down crying when the song hits you a couple weeks from now.